genuinely bought into a construct where people believe I'm somehow dangerous when all I have done is save people from depression. We talk about men's mental health. We, Patty Pimblett just fought and talk about if you, if you have trouble with men's mental health, come forward. As I said, women talk to each other. They, there's no stigma on women. They sit around and have a cup of tea and have a jangle. True to that. Men, men don't, <laughs> lad. Men feel like, oh, I can't go and say that to him because he'll think I'm a little, little mushroom. You know what I mean? That's what men think. But as I said in the cage, I'd much rather my friend come to me and speak to me and cry on my shoulder than me have to cry when I'm carrying his coffin a week later. I just wanted to show the world that if mental health could bring somebody as big as me and as strong as me and, you know, the stereotype heavyweight champion of the world to my knees, then it could bring anybody to the knees. Tyson Fury talk about it. I talk about it. Everyone tries to talk about it. And everyone says, men, you should talk more. Talk to us. I try and encourage men to be strong. I say, listen, if you're depressed, you need to get in the gym. A strong body is a strong mind. I sit there and by using my lifestyle, which is an aspirational lifestyle that most men would love to have, purely because of the finance, the cars, the freedom, etc., I encourage people to work hard and try their best to become the best version of themselves. And men are encouraged to talk and open up. But when I talk and open up and get massive influence and start helping people, they're going to silence me.